Hello everyone, I welcome you all on the 16th lecture of microprocessor and computer architecture. Uh, till now we have discussed the almost about 40 instructions related Minimips RISC processor. So in today's session we will discuss more towards the programming. So first I will begin by explaining the program execution flow in the Minimips. Then I, in that I will also discuss the role of linker, loader and debugger, how it works. I will show you that what, how the label which you mentioned in the program will be converted in a particular symbol table and how that will be called in particular program during execution. Then we will discuss the assembler directives. So the directives which can help us or which can help the compiler while converting your machine, uh, your program into machine level, level language. So I will discuss all the directives of Minimips with an example. Then I will discuss the pseudo instructions. The pseudo instructions are the instruction which is not a part of standard set of instruction, but still those instructions work can be carried out by the standard instruction, which is a part of instruction set of particular processor. Then I will also discuss the macro instructions and also discuss what is the difference between macro and pseudo instructions. Then later on I will classify that Minimips instruction based on address. That means how many operand each instruction has and based on that classification is available. So that I will discuss. And towards the end I will discuss the additional addressing mode. So we have already discussed the ad addressing mode in the previous chapters for Minimips. The additional addressing mode will be discussed in this se uh, session and towards the end I will discuss a few program and give a hands off. So that's all for today's session. Thank you.